Hello. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? LD Shiloh here and welcome back to One Life. As you know, last episode we gave Scott a parking ticket and he has actually repaid his fine. It is right here, 32 diamonds. And apparently he left me some dirt as well because maybe he's a little bit upset about the parking fine. But I'll keep it anyway. So let's put these in my chest because my diamond supply is starting to get a little bit low. Maybe I shouldn't have traded them all away. But that doesn't matter because we don't need any diamonds for what we want to do today because I am going to install an art piece in my house. I thought it'd be really cute to get a bunch of armor stands and line them up here and get some leather armor of rainbow colors and I think it would look super cute. So first of all let's see how to make an armor stand. We just need sticks and slabs so we should be able to do this. I think we should make about eight. Let's make an extra two just in case and set these up against the wall here. I'm gonna put them all the way along. Ta-da! And that is gonna look so good when we have all the rainbow armor on them. I'm so excited! So we're just gonna need a lot of wheat for breeding. And we're gonna have to spend all day back here just breeding the cows. Come here, my lovelies. Okay, has everyone had a mate? If you've already found a mate, please step back. This area is for single cows only. Okay, we've got a lot of cows in there now, but we need more before we have enough leather. <gasps> Maybe we should get looting on our swords so that we get extra leather when we kill them. Can we get a looting upgrade? Oh, we can. We just need, ugh, gold. Oh dear. Well, let's see if we can get it in the enchanting table first. Um, unbreaking? Maybe we should get unbreaking. That would be kind of handy. Okay, all we got was unbreaking. I was kind of hoping there would be like a secret enchantment there, but there wasn't. So we're just gonna have to do everything with these upgrades here. So let's actually get the looting upgrade. We just need paper and lots of gold, but I have lots of gold, so we should be fine. So let's make three of the basic upgrades. So there's one, two, and three. And then I'm gonna start combining these with my sword. So we have unbreaking three and looting one, looting two and looting three. That is awesome. Let's see, what's the sharpness upgrade? Ooh, we just need flint and iron swords. We can definitely make those. I've got loads of flint lying around here and loads of iron. Look how much I have. I have to store it in blocks now because I have so much. So let's make five of these. There we go. And now we just need to combine these with the sword. Wow, this thing is getting so strong. Ta-da. Wow, I can feel the power. I think it's about time to go breed my cows some more. Excuse me, ladies. Let me just get in there so I can shower you all with wheat. Oh my gosh, it's getting kind of hard to move in here now. This is kind of scary. I feel like I'm being worshipped. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Help me. Okay, I think that's everyone. So let's get out of here. Wow, it's very full in there now. Now let's also get all the dyes ready. So I wanna do every color of the rainbows. So let's make sure we have four of each die so we can dye each piece. So now I believe we have everything we need except the leather. Now while we wait for all the cows to be ready again, I'm gonna do some more upgrading. So found this respiration upgrade, which is pretty cool so that we can breathe underwater for longer, which would help me with the whole not drowning thing. And it just uses a puffer fish, paper and a glass bottle. And I think I have a bunch of puffer fish left over from when I was doing my, no, I only have three. Oh, we don't have enough. I wonder if I can do some fishing and the first thing I catch is gonna be a puffer fish. I just know it. I bet this is a puffer fish. Let's go for a little fish in my nice little pond. Come on. <gasps> nope, that's not a puffer fish. That is a raw tuna. There we go, we actually got one. A puffer fish. That means we can craft the upgrade now. Here we go, respiration. And I'm gonna put that on my helmet because it's already got aqua affinity on it. So I'm gonna be like a mermaid right now. I'm basically gonna be able to live under the water. Now I think we're ready to harvest the leather from the cows really soon. We'll just breed them all one more time and then we will start to gather the leather. Look out ladies. Let's see, 14, is that all? Are you kidding me? Let's just slay a few more and then head back inside because even with this sword, I don't want to take any risks. This is one life after all. Okay, now we can start doing the crafting. So I'm gonna start and just make all the helmets first of all. Wow, this is gonna be a lot of helmets. Oh, and then let's start dyeing them. Let's put these on the mannequins and see what they look like so far. Boom. Oh yes, this is so cool. That is gonna look awesome when it's finished. Can you put an armor stand on top of a ladder? Would that work? Let's see. Oh, <gasps> no, it's falling down. Wait for me, armor stand, I'm coming for you. 
Oh no, what am I gonna do? It just keeps falling, stop! Okay, I rescued it, don't worry guys. I have retrieved the armor stand. Okay, let's just plop that back there, put that back on, and quietly weep because I realize we are gonna need a lot more leather to finish this piece of art. Okay, here you go. Congratulations, survivors, you live to breed another day. Okay, now let's head off in search of more leather because clearly there is just not enough here. So there aren't any cows here, but there are horses. Unfortunately for them, they drop leather, so... Sorry guys, I just really need leather. I'm really desperate. Oh, and speaking of killing horses, you guys will be glad to know that Yami and CPK saved Stacy from suffocating in a wall. At the end of her last episode, she had to just log out because she got stuck. So she has been rescued. Do not worry, Stacy is safe for now. Oh man, I've killed all these horses and I barely even have any extra leather. Let's head over to Joel's house and see if he has any spare leather. Hello? Where is he? I don't see him. It's really weird being in somebody's house when they're not here. Well, I can tell he was here a while ago. The furnace is still going. <gasps> there he is! Oh my gosh, he didn't notice me. I'm just gonna follow him. How is he not seeing me? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I don't think he even knows I'm in bed right next to him. Good morning. What? Where is he going? <laughs> Did he even know? Well, that was strange. Oh, I forgot to ask him about his cows. Wait, Joel, where does he even keep his cows? Well, he doesn't want me to kill them, but I'm just gonna breed them for him and then we're gonna leave. At least I get some experience for doing that. Oh my gosh, he hardly has any. Well, what a waste of time. Okay, I think we have almost two stacks now, so that should be plenty. <gasps> An escapee! Well, you've escaped with your life today, but mark my words, this server is a harsh place for a little squaggly butt like you. Let's now do the chest plates. Ugh, I'm gonna need so much leather. I need to make 10 chest plates. Look how cool this looks. This is really starting to take shape. Look at that little stumpy feet dangling out there. We need some boots next. Oh my gosh, I have loads of leather in here. I just never looked. Ugh. I'm so stupid. Okay, we need five more pairs of trousers. Let's plop these on. All right, and now we can start on the boots. We just need 10 pairs of boots. Now let's dye all these. Almost there. Ta-da, they are all dyed. Now let's just sleep real quick. And now I can put my shoes on. So this had better look good. After all the cows sacrificed their lives to be part of this. There we go. It is complete. I think it's so cute. Oh, look at them. They're all holding hands. How adorable. They're so snazzy. Okay, now let's move on because I actually wanted to do something with my little path out here. I think the dirt path is cool, but you know, it's a little dirty for my taste. And I've actually been collecting a lot of these flowers. They're called clovers. So I've been collecting these for a while because I want to replace the dirt path with these. Let's see what it looks like before we start going crazy. So I've got to get rid of the path and replace it with normal dirt. Um, it doesn't look so great right now, but I'm sure when the grass grows, it will look very pretty. So let's carry on. Now I have actually run out of flowers without actually finishing the whole path. So we might have to do that another day. But before I end today's episode, I really want to go and check out Megan's shop. Apparently there have been a whole load of new shops added to spawn. Everyone has built one now. So let's go and see what is for sale. Move out of my way, I gotta get to the sales. Ooh, speaking of sales, this shop is shaped like a ship. That is so cute. Oh, this is Megan's shop. Game of Burry's Burry Booty Fish slash Treasure Shop. That is quite a mouthful, Megan. Let's have a little look-see inside. Ooh, where's the shop part? <laughs> oh, it's down here below the deck. Wow, cool. Okay. So she is selling raw jellyfish for the slime, and that's a diamond. She's selling name tags for one golden apple. <laughs> she's selling blaze rods cheaper than Joel's, which is funny. Um, she's also selling enchanted rods. But let's see what else she has down here. <gasps> is this what I think it is? It's an AFK fish farm? So I guess you just put iron ingots in there when you want to have a go, and then you do some AFK fishing. Okay, that's pretty cool. I I don't need to do any fishing right now, but maybe we will come and check it out later. Let's see what else has popped up around here. We of course have Joel's shop.
shop. Have there been any changes? Nope, he is still the blaze rod man. There's my lovely little shop and somebody has built a cute shop next to it. Yummy's shop. Oh, it's so pink. She is selling fire charges for one diamond block. Cool, interesting. Well, I happen to have a load of those, so I don't need them. And I think there's a shop back here hiding out. It's Coil Smashing Blacksmith. Oh, it's under construction. There's nothing in there yet. Okay, that's a little bit upsetting. I realize that there is a shop to the right of me, but I'm not allowed to show it yet because somebody hasn't made their video yet. So we're just gonna completely ignore that for now. Let's just head home because I forgot I have one more cool thing to show you guys. Oh, you are gonna love this. So Scott actually gifted me something pretty cool. It's in here. No, it's not. It's in here. Ta-da! Check it out. It's a rainbow shield. Let's swap it out for my almost broken, boring old wooden shield. Check out how cute it is. This perfectly fits the theme of my house and my life. So that is where I'm going to end today's episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and I will see you next time.